This is a day in the life of a pharmacy student. Hence the shirt and tie. We're gonna play that down here. You come. <laughs> You know, being a pharmacy student, it's an uh, honor and the privilege is also a curse. I mean, as you can probably see, I don't know if you get the bags under the eyes, but that's from long hours of studying. But the reward is great at the end. Now, it's always a good feeling to know that you're going to be helping somebody out in the long run. And it's definitely a journey. Six years in the making, I feel like I'm old. I feel like a granddaddy, man. Like, I feel like they need to have a statue of me right, right here, right in front of the pharmacy building. We're about to go to the land of the unknown. That's right, the pharmacy building. So we gonna check it out. See clowns when we do it. You see all this, all this right now. That was blank page, blank page, blank page. That was from the day I was a little late. But look, bam, bam, bam. It don't stop. It don't stop. That's day. Like my hand is like lost five pounds from this one little problem. Been like hours, hours. Uh, I've known I wanted to be a pharmacist. Actually, it was the twelfth grade. Because all the way up to then, I wanted to be an engineer, and then that math just started getting crazy. They, that's when math started looking like the Matrix. And they had all numbers, and I was like, I, I can't do this. So I found out I wanted to be a pharmacist in 12th grade, and I started really getting involved with chemistry because I noticed that, you know, growing up, I used to always look at Bill Nye, the science guy. And Bill Nye used to have me messing up the house. I used to get whoopings for messing up the experiments and getting stuff on the floor. So I was like, okay, why not get something? Why not get involved with something that I know I can help people out and understand that it's a niche that I have. I mean, science has been a part of my life. It's always answered that question, why? And I've always been a why person, a why not person, or how. So, you know, science answers those questions. Uh, the best advice I can give a student who's interested in pharmacy is to stay focused. I mean, it's tough. You have a lot of tough material. You have a lot of material thrown at you. You're going to encounter material that you haven't seen a day in your life, and you probably don't understand, but it's all about staying focused and actually putting the time to study what you're given. Because if you wait to the last minute, oh, man, you can count it. You can count it a wrap. Call it a day, because it's not going to happen. That's why you're in the girl, all girl group. They know what they're doing. I'm smart. I got an all girl group. Come on, come on. Put bags, the computers, because you know during test times you can't bring any of that stuff up into the uh, the area. So just put it in here. Uh, it definitely feels great to be able to contribute 
to the university in that manner. Uh, I never would have thought I would be in the commercial. And it's just exciting. It's exciting to see myself uh, on TV or on the internet. It's exciting to see the reactions from other people. And it's exciting just to work with people that you see every day, like my peers. I, I had fun. A lot of fun. Ooh. Discover what you can become. Yeah, what she said. For more information about fan views, discover. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Going in three, two. Discover what you can become. Yeah, what she said. For more information about our study abroad program, visit discoverfanu.com. Okay, um, now this one, you know. Balancing pharmacy and fraternity life and just having your own life as well uh, really is pretty tough, but it's all about setting a, a set schedule sometimes and really just planning out your days because a lot of times during the day you may have things come up and you tend to push things to the side. It's really about really concentrating and putting an effort into time management. And a lot of people just really try to go with the flow a lot of times and that's when you get caught up and you start backtracking. But I've really tried to uh, have a solid foundation in setting my schedule for the week and following that plan all the way out. You're on the set, about to get ready to pub for baby new chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha's juke joint tonight. See, I got my Nelly on. St. Nulatics. Ah, let's go, let's get it. Leg out. Let's go. Come on, shoot, sir. I don't know. You can display it. Oh, to my number. I need you, man. You can do that, but when I grab a break, I need you to make no wonder with me. I need you to make me back and bust and flip. I need you to beat that the sack and go swim in the best. I need you to make me back. Fam, you has taught me to appreciate the good and the bad. You know, I've experienced so much at FAMU. I really feel like at 23, you know, today at 23, getting older. But FAMU has really just given me a higher sense of wisdom. And I I'm a true believer that you really can't gain or attain wisdom without experiencing something first. And I feel like I have just encountered a number of experiences like thus far that anything that life throws at me, I'm able to overcome it. Yo, it's the rock. <laughs> Jigger. <laughs> I can't do Jay-Z that day. Come in here, be dressed up. Professional now. Alright, look. Just out of the class, you know, taking a billion notes. You wanna know a P90, P90 notes, you know what I'm saying? My hand just lost about five pounds. How are you rolling?